common question I get asked is, what's a good scooter to get for a kid? Today's video, we're gonna be talking about this scooter here, the Segway Zing. In this video, three great kids help us identify the 10 things that make an electric scooter great for kids. The Segway Zing E8. My daughter Maggie's been riding it. Maggie, before you take off onto the playground, tell us what you think of the Segway 9 bot Zing E8. It is small. The thing doesn't go up any higher. Well, it has two brakes. It has two brakes? Mm -hmm. Okay, which brake do you prefer using? This one. Why do you like that one? Because I'm used to it. You just press down on your foot. Also, okay. if little kids have smaller hands, they won't be able to reach. For smaller kids that maybe have small hands that can't use this, they can now use the foot brake. What else were your thoughts? What are, You too, Evie, what are some, some of your thoughts of this scooter? You guys have been riding for a while. Um, I like to do curb drops on it. <laughs> it's fun. Yep. And um, yeah. it's very durable because when I was trying to do wheelies and I fell, and then it's not even scratched. It just has a little bit of dirt on it. It's not scratched up. So this was uh, doing wheelies on the scooter. Oh my wrists nice. and then my knee. Yes. So one of the things that's important to have in a kid's scooter is durability. And as you can see, this scooter took a big tumble with my daughter. My daughter has scars to show. <laughs> the scooter does not. So Should it's a durable scooter. It doesn't go that fast, but it's still pretty fun. And it's not that heavy. Not yeah, that it's heavy. really light. So yeah, let's see you guys like, fold it. It's a little interesting. Yeah, you push down. I find the easiest way to do it, it's a little weird, is it's not the easiest for kids to do, is to kind of rock it back and forth. Just like all the other scooters, there's quite a bit of tension on it. And then this one also locks into itself right here. Okay, let's see. Let's see you girls pick it up. What How do you think? heavy do you think it is? Yes, let's see who guesses the closest. 12 pounds. 12 maybe? pounds? Okay, let Evie try now. Oh, 10 pounds. 10 it's pounds. Not quite 12. Oh, Maggie's right. Oh. Price is right, 17.6 pounds. pounds. Yeah, That does not feel 6. like 17 pounds. 17.6 pounds. How fast do you think you were going? What do you think the fastest you were going? Five, six, uh, 10 miles seven per miles per hour. What, no. what, how many numbers did you just say? Seven miles per hour. Seven? That's a good guess. Nine miles. Nine miles? Zero. Yeah. Oh, Evie's right. 8.6 miles per hour. See, like, I've, I even decided to match my outfit to the scooter. You see this? It's <laughs> blue so, and pink. You can't even tell there's a scooter here right now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who said they like the colors? Which, I did. Okay. I like the colors because they're like, they're, because they're like not too vibrant, not too like pop. I like how, I like that it's like pastel pink and pastel blue because okay. I just like those colors. What else do you need in a good kid's scooter? It cheap. It has to be cheap. Why? And to make it fun. So then when they grow out of it, you didn't waste, no, you didn't waste a lot of money. That's right, good. So you want something that's not too expensive. What do you think the price is? 300. 250. Maggie wins on this, it's 219.99. That's cheap compared to like the other one. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Anything else? I can't have too much torque. Because if it has too much, cause like I noticed with the bigger scooters, if you press down too hard, then you get flung backward. Okay. And then if you stop it, if you stop it too fast, then you get flung forward. Yeah, okay. Cause inertia. Inertia, it too fast. it's summertime. No talk of inertia. <laughs> Continue. Has to be easy to uh, use too. Here. It's really easy to use with just like this thumb thing. The thumb throttle. Yeah. The range on this isn't too big. It's about 6.2 miles of range. But kids won't be riding that long. Exactly. So it's, it's designed perfectly for kids. It's really modestly priced and it's uh, it gets my nieces and you guys riding on electric vehicles. My niece, she's always sad when we go for scooter rides, so we're about to make her smile. Hey, Laurel. Hello. I got something for oh, you. Can I open it? Yeah, you can open it. Thank you so much, Andrew. It's heavy. Whoa, so nice. I love the color. This is from my good friends at Rev Rides. What do you have to say to Rev Rides? Thank you. I told them how sad you were every time we went for scooter rides, and they decided to bring some smiles to your faces. You ready? Okay. 
and press it down. And just you can put both feet up on the on the thing. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. yeah it's working. I like it. No more frowns when we go for family rides anymore, huh? What's your favorite thing about it? Um probably that's electric. That it's electric? And the color. And the color? Yeah. What do you wish? What if you could change one thing, what would you want? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I also like that it doesn't make like a thud sound. It doesn't make a thud sound? Yeah. It's just nice and quiet, yeah, huh? Yeah, like, like other scooters. Oh yeah, the normal like the thud, yeah. the thud, the thud, the thud. Yeah. Uh, I love seeing how excited Laura was when she opened up the scooter. Thank you! Some features about this is it comes in two different colors. It comes in this nice pink for girls. It also comes in a blue with the light blue handles for, for boys. But I, I think both of the colors are, are more on the uh, feminine side. It does have front suspension on it, which is nice because the, the tires are solid. So you're never gonna have to worry about any type of flats. It's a different type of rubber though. It's not the hard plastic that you're used to seeing on electric scooters or kid scooters. It's got a nice little soft rubber so it does absorb the, the bumps a lot better than a traditional one. One thing I really noticed that was cool about the scooter was my niece couldn't really grasp using the braking system yet. She didn't know how to really use the braking system from the front. She still didn't really want to use the braking system in the back. But just because it only goes 8.6 miles per hour, nice thing for her is she was just able to just put her foot down and use her foot as a brake like she does normally on a, a razor scooter i definitely think she'll pick up on learning how to use the braking system itself but up until that point of her learning that she can just use her foot and she still feels comfortable enough to stop okay. did you learn did, how was that braking it was good do you normally ride with just one foot on your regular scooter because uh, yeah. you're normally kicking the other one huh all clear Say hi to the doggy. Hi, doggy. No catchy. Just like you have hyper scooters for adrenaline junkies like Andrew. Um, you also need scooters on the other end of the spectrum, something for kids. And as we said, a good kid scooter is something that's durable, something that's safe, something that doesn't go too fast, something that they can ride, something that's light enough for them to, to be able to pick up something that's not too expensive because they're going to outgrow it easily. The Segway 9Bot Zing fits the bill. If you want to learn more, check it out on our blog, gotscooter.com. But I want to thank my daughter Evie because she's the one that edited this entire video. So if you like this video, if you like the edit, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Well, I'm glad you're happy. Mm -hmm. I never realized that, um, that scooters can be that cool. Now you know why your uncle's such a nut job for him, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs>